Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then don't forget to subscribe down below. And without much further ado, let's get on with the video. Hello everyone. I hope you're having a good Sunday. If you are watching this today, on Sunday, the day I release this, it's my birthday. I'm 21. I still can't fathom that. Like, I just can't work it out because I feel like a five-year-old. Anyway, I wanted to mark the occasion of my 21st by taking a trip down memory lane and revisiting some fun things that I wrote as a child. Because over the past few days, I have been going through old cupboards. And we have one on our landing. And also there's this really creepy, like, paranormal activity style cupboard in the corner of my room behind the camera. But I went through it and I found some things and I cried. <laughs> I genuinely cried while I was reading some stuff I wrote. I did find some gems, some beautiful gems of some kind of... Amelia Brain from when she was 11 and I just wish I could have a chat with her, you know, she's just she was just something The first thing I'm gonna start with though is something that I completely forgot existed Now I'm sure a lot of you also have a teddy or a plush that you've had since you were a child Like it just appeared you don't remember being given it It just exists in your life and for me it apparently is this bunny. Look at this bunny. She's so cute She is adorable and my mum actually washed her um, the other day and it actually got her looking pretty pretty fresh pretty nice but isn't she the cutest look at her i also found this really cool thing now i don't know if anyone else remembers this but i'm a big parts of the caribbean fan okay i don't remember watching curse of the black pearl but i know that i watched it like religiously as a child that is the coolest thing i've ever seen in my life now moving on to the things that I wrote as a child because I wrote a lot. So this is the first thing that I found and it is this lovely drawing. I think it's meant to be me. This, I feel like, was in 2011. So when I was 11, I looked like this. It was just, it was just a bad decisions all round. Apparently I drew myself like that. I also say my favorite color is green, which is still accurate. I do really like green. Um, I don't like it when teachers shout really loud. That I also stand by. I don't like confrontation at all and shouting teachers scares me. Um, once my teacher did shout at me and I got so upset because she basically like snapped. She was having a bad day and she decided to snap at me just because I didn't say thank you quick enough. I think I was asking her to sign something for me and I was like, hey miss, can you sign this? And I hadn't even finished my sentence and she just lost it. Like. I'm a nice person, I say my please and thank yous, but she was just not having it that day and I think I started crying. This would have been in like, year 10. <laughs> I hate the colours pink and purple. I now love the colour purple so much. Everything is purple, like, I mean, you can't see any purple right now. But this wall I painted grey, but I really, really, really could have painted it lilac, but then I was like, no, grey is the way to go. I also have my ears pierced, P-E-I-S-T, pierced pierced and my favorite school hobby is singing which i want to know where that's coming from because 2011 amelia could not sing 2020 amelia cannot sing so where, where are you coming from amelia what are you doing okay we're gonna move on to my foundation book here these lovely books that i'm sure a lot of you had when you were younger why have i drawn okay but this is a picture of ben swolo and i will not hear otherwise <laughs> Why is there a half-naked person in my book? This is a cool thing. So this picture just here, that was actually a design for this mechanical toy that we could make. Um, and it was like a box and then you had a stick going through and then the little characters on it. And when you turn the stick, the characters would bob up and down. And I remember I, so I had a big car crash in 2008. It was a huge one. I genuinely could have died if I wasn't wearing a seatbelt or in a booster seat. So wear your seatbelt, kids. But then about a month later, we had another car crash. Uh, thank you for that luck. But the second one, I was actually getting into my car, holding this, right? And someone, pretend this is the door. I was standing here about to get into the car and someone drove like that and the whole car like moved backwards. We weren't hurt or anything, but it was shocking for an eight year old to go through once again. And whew, I have no idea what happened to this. We also made pirate ships. I had to write the advantages and disadvantages of a monsoon. Now, the disadvantages, obviously, millions of people made homeless, thousands die, difficult to travel, river crossing becomes dangerous, three months of rain, etc. All the normal things. But then for some reason, on the advantages, I've written lots of umbrellas. 
and I got a tick for that. We're now on to my English book and I found a lovely, lovely thing from 11th of September 2008, so I would have been nine. This was after I came back from Florida for the first time ever. It's called Pirates vs Enchanted. One sunny day on the dark black ocean of the Black Sea, Captain Jack saw land and got overexcited and fell off the side of the boat. What he didn't know was he was coming to land at New York. On the other side of the ocean was a fair maiden named Giselle. She wore a beautiful green dress that she made with a little girl called Megan. When Jack was on land, he saw all these weird people with nice clothes. On that very same day, he had stole lots of gold, so he went shopping. <laughs> at the mall, Jack met Giselle and asked her to a battle, so they met at the tip of the top of the mall. They were about to start a race for the fairy tales Jack vs Giselle. That doesn't make any sense, Amelia. And then I also had to write... a contrast to that opening and I wrote yo-ho yo-ho a pirate's life for me Captain Jack chanted land ahoy Mr Gibbs shouted from the top of the ship but what they didn't know was they were coming to New York on the other side of New York lived a fair maiden named Giselle she was singing what a wonderful day she said swelling her long blue and green dress near the magnificent I really tried to spell that magnificent waterfall <laughs> she had made it with a lovely caring girl called Megan we see Amelia has found adjectives <laughs> I <laughs> I found a poem and it's called the Robbly Dob. Today I saw the Robbly Dob. It was shaped like an acorn, but had truthful red teeth, and its legs were shaped like blobs. That's it. <laughs> Apparently this was poem season at my school. The playground. The school child is stomping and chomping. His best friend is buzzing and hissing, shuffling and ruffling, scattering and scurrying, hearing the rippling and trickling, the splashing and sploshing, smashing and bashing, and the plonking and honking. Then he hears the thumping and clumping while dazzled and prazzled, he scrunches and munches. You show a good understanding of this. Thanks, teacher. <laughs> How to plan and write a play. All right, hello. Oh, this is a whole script. Another video idea, I think. I just found a story and from a brief glimpse over it, it sounds like the same vein as Hunger Games, which I think is quite funny. And yes, I love Hunger Games. And yes, I've read Ballads of Songbirds and Snakes. And yes, I loved it so much. And I want to reread it already. Mm. It's so good. If you haven't read it and you like Hunger Games, please read it. Me and my friend Hannah cannot stop talking about it. It is, it's, it's had my brain now for like a week. And I just am like, give me more content. This is called The Dragon and St. George. There are no dragons today, thanks to the knights and the heroes who killed them of many years ago. This is such a pity because dragons must have been astonishing creatures, part snake and part crocodile, with bits of lion and huge great silver wings, three metres long, thrown in for good measure. Not only can they jump and fly tremendous feet, but they are also runners of a great speed. But have you ever seen a dragon run away? Oh no, they wouldn't use such a speed that way. They would use their speed to catch their prey. The people of Siln had a terrible problem for in a cave next to the lagoon that smells like poison possine. P-O-S-I-N-E. Okay. Lived a hungry dragon. The king of Siln was quite an idiot. For he gave the dragon sheep to make it go away. But all it did was devour all the sheep, gave to it by the king. After a while, the king had no sheep left. So the king bought a conkil? Consil. To the scene where all the most important people came to talk about their ideas. I'm guessing that's council. C-O-N-C-I-L. We have given the dragon a thousand of our sheep, the king cried. True, but what else will we give to it? The minister asked. The king had an idea, but his face was grim. We will give the dragon our children, because it's said that dragons love the taste of children. When he had finished talking, there was a great commotion, which lasted for a few minutes. Then the king spoke up. We will have a lottery every Tuesday and shall pick seven girls and seven boys to go to the dragon. However, there will be no exceptions. So it's not actually uh, anything to do with hunger. <laughs> it is just children being sent to the slaughter. For dragons. We're, oh, this is tea. We're getting some tea. My teacher said, a good start, Amelia. Although I'm not sure how much of this is yours, as I had to ask you a number of times to put the book down that you were using for vocabulary ideas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stop. You're even going to cut out this amazing guest star. That's, it's way too focused. To know how to write a persuasive leaflet. And it's a Disney leaflet. Um, so it's Orlando but there's a picture of Disneyland Park. Okay, Amelia, we totally understand you're a Disney fan, but you got that wrong. Then the next page is just drunken pig. What? Breaking news today in the bull pub, Farmer Tubbs takes his pig for a drink, but came out drunken. He had a skin full, but on the way back, Farmer Tubbs got stopped by a police officer. They took his breath and found normal, but the pig was asleep, so they kept on driving. We know all this because a reporter went to Farmer Tubbs' house and asked lots of questions which we have answered for you. Okay, then. 
What is this? <laughs> New Moon, continuing from page 128. Now, I've never actually read New Moon. We're talking about Twilight here, by the way. I've never read it, so I don't know how I could continue unless they made us read some of it. And if so, that scares me. What year was this? This would have been year seven? Year seven or eight. So I would have been 11, 12 or 13. Okay. Did the stereo break? He wondered. Yes, I lied. Who took it out? He asked. Oh, well, it was me, but I used some of Charlie's equipment, I said, hoping he had bought it. Oh, okay. I didn't think you were that strong. He laughed. Jacob swiftly walked over to a pile which had a sign. I'm literally reading fan fiction at this point, aren't I? And then we have a descriptive writing and drawing about Bella Swan from Eclipse this time. So I've drawn a, <laughs> I've drawn a picture. I drew a picture of Bella Swan with I love vampires which I tried to write that way and didn't look right, so I, I did it diagonally, apparently. And it says, she has lost Edward, so she tries to hurt herself because she thinks Edward will show up if she hurts and part of herself. I have so many questions. I don't want this video to get too long because I have to edit this. And I also have to edit uni stuff. So I think we're gonna end it there. If you want to hear more of these stories or hear more about my childhood, because apparently I'm finding things every five seconds that I would love to share with you guys, please leave a comment down below saying, yes, Amelia, Hit us up with more really awkward childhood nurse. I will definitely do that. And I will definitely do a dramatic reading of that script because I'm super interested and I want to read it like as dramatically as possible with my friend or my sister. So I shall do that at some point in my life. But if you enjoyed today's video and you want to carry on watching this face, I do Disney videos, theme park videos, makeup videos, really anything that comes into my head videos, then please do not forget to subscribe just there and then just here will be a link to a previous video. But until next time, bye!